Hi, Dr. Goss. The case scenario for this final video is going to be about an eight-year-old Hispanic female who was brought in by her mother for complaints of a bug bite to her right arm. Um, the patient hadn't come into the clinic for three years, uh, so she was behind on her well child checks. Uh, several issues were discussed with the patient and her mother, um, including the importance of a well child check, um, being overweight, the cellulitis, juvenile idiopathic scoliosis, and decreased vision. Uh, thank you for everything that you've done this semester for us, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Knock, knock. Oh, hello. Hi. My name is Mary Cruz. I'm going to be the nurse practitioner um, student examining you today. What's your name? Anna. Hi, Anna, and this is... Hi, Mom. 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 I'm going to quickly wash my hands real quick before we get started. How's your guys' day going? Good. Okay. I'm going to answer her. Good. What is that? You have an, iP an iPad? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I was looking through her chart, and it looks like she's here for a bug bite, right? Yes. Okay. And she hasn't been to the clinic for her regular checkups in about three years. Is there a reason for that? She's usually pretty healthy, so I never really have to bring her in. Okay. Um, and then, so she hasn't seen, like, another doctor or anything no. like that? No. Okay. Um, she should come every year for her regular checkups just to make sure that she's developing normally. Um, is it okay to do it today? Yes. Okay, perfect, because I think they already checked her vision and her hearing up at the front. Um, so let's start with your bug bite. So when did this happen? Um, it happened when we went on a Mexican vacation about three days ago. Okay. And then, um, Anna, do you remember something biting you? No, I think something bit me when I was sleeping because I woke up and I saw a, he a huge bug bite on my arm. My cousin was sleeping in the same bed and she had no bites. Oh, I'm sorry it bit you. Um, does it itch? Uh, I think it was itchy the first day, but not anymore. Does it hurt at all? Yeah, it hurts when I touch it or if I move a lot. And then, Mom, has she had any fevers or chills? No, I didn't check it because I didn't have a thermometer, so there was no reason for me to check it. Okay. Um, has she been complaining of any, like, numbness or tingling or weakness to no. her arms? since? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then, Anna, has it always looked the way it looks today, or does it look different? It looks different. Is it, has it spread more, or, well, like, how does it look different? It looks like, it looks like it's gone, the swelling's gone down to her pinky. Oh, okay. And then, um, have you noticed anything that makes it better or worse? No, I just give her ibuprofen. That seems to make it better. Okay. And then, um, how has this affected her eliminating and her eating patterns and her activity and sleeping? Well, she's eating okay. She goes to the bathroom okay, but I did notice that, you know, she's a little bit more tired than normal. Okay. And then, um, since the illness, has she complained of having um, any coughing or, or fevers or runny nose? No. No. Um, all right, let's review some history with you. How old were you when you had Anna? I was, How was your pregnancy? I was about 29 years old, and she was full term. I had a normal badge delivery, and I didn't have any problems. Okay, and then um, does Anna have any past medical history, like asthma, diabetes, frequent ear infections? No. Um, has she ever been hospitalized or had any surgeries? No. Um, does she take any medication on a regular basis? No. Um, does she have any history of any chicken pox, rubella, mumps? No. Um, how would you describe her health in general? She's generally pretty healthy. Um, is she allergic to any medication or any foods? Not that I know of. Um, and how many times a day do you brush your teeth, Anna? Uh, I don't know. Like, two. And when was the last time she went to the dentist? About a year ago. Okay. So, Anna, um, you should be brushing your teeth at least three times a day. So, after breakfast, after lunch, and then after dinner. And then, Mom, she should go to the dentist at least two times a year. Um, so, that way they can do a really good cleaning and put the fluoride in her teeth so okay. she can have strong teeth. Okay. Um, and in regards to her diet, describe a typical diet. Like, tell me what she ate yesterday. I had rice and beans and a cheese quesadilla. Um... Uh, and Doritos. Oh, well, she doesn't really like breakfast, so she skips it. But she does like to eat uh, mangoes and, and strawberries. And then, um, does she like vegetables? No, she doesn't like vegetables. Okay, so it sounds like she needs to eat a little bit healthier. Um, does the family 
prepare food at home, or do you guys go out often? Um, well, my husband comes home late, so we eat at different times, and we do eat out quite a bit sometimes. I like to watch TV and eat. Oh. Um, Mom, do you have any concerns with her weight or her school or her development? No, she's about the same with her, as with her cousins and her classmates. Okay. And then, Anna, what grade are you in? Second grade. What do you like most about school? I like to play with my friends in color. And what do you like to do after school? I like to play with my friends sometimes, my cousins, and I like to watch TV and play with my dolls and play with my iPod. Oh, and then when Anna isn't sick, um, how does she sleep? Does she sleep, like, how many hours, and does she exercise? She does sleep about eight hours a night, and she does exercise stuff at school. She plays soccer with her cousins on the weekends. Okay, and then I see her immunizations are up to date, except for her flu shot. Was it something you wanted to do today, or? No, not today. Maybe next year. Okay, and then just a few more questions. Um, how are your family dynamics? Are you married? Um, who takes care of Anna? I am married. And um, her father was uh, her father works full time. And I work part time, and and um, when I am working, my mom takes care of her. Okay. I love Abuelita. Is that grandma? Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you guys live in a house or in an apartment? We live in an apartment. Okay. Um, any pets in the home or exposure to lead or guns? I don't have any pets. No guns. No lead. Okay. Um, and is there any harmful risks around Anna, like tobacco, cigarette smoking, um, any types of abuse, like physical or sexual abuse that you're concerned about? No abuse that I know of, but um, her, my husband does um, go outside and smoke sometimes. Okay. So gross. Daddy smells. Uh, I know it is gross, huh, Anna? You should tell Daddy to stop smoking, and you too, Mom. It's bad for both you know, kids and adults to be around that kind of environment. Um, how would you describe your, your culture? Are you guys religious? Do you go to church? We are Mexican-American, so Anna does go to church with my mom. Yeah, it's so much fun. And then when we go in the morning, we get donuts. Oh. Okay, and then now I want to ask some family history just to better get a better, better sense about Anna's risks for future complications. So describe her father's health, your health, and her grandparents. Uh, my husband does have uh, type 2 diabetes. Um, I think I have high cholesterol. My in-laws do have, uh, they are obese, so they do have diabetes and um, hypertension. Um, my grandparents, um, they, um, they do have hypertension and high cholesterol. Okay. And is there any family history of any skin issues or scoliosis? Well, no skin issues, but my, I do remember my grandma having um, scoliosis. Okay. All right. Um, so, Mom, I do want you to take a look at this. Um, this is Anna's weight, and then compared to other kids her age, um, she's considered overweight. Um, so she's in what we consider the 90th percentile for her age. Um, she should be at 50. Oh, wow. I didn't know it was that bad. Yeah. So we're going to have to exercise a little bit more and just eat healthier foods. Okay. Or see Anna, no more Taco Bell and donuts. Aww. It's okay to have it every once in a while, but just, you know, on a special occasion. But try to eat more fruits, more vegetables, and try to cook at home a little bit more. Okay. Um, and then they checked her eyes in the front already, and it looks like she has some trouble seeing. Um, so we'll need to have her go to the ophthalmologist okay. to get a better take a look. Okay. And then, um, Anna, go ahead and have a seat um, at the exam table. We'll take a look at your arm. All right, show me where it hurts. Oh, well, that is a bug bite. So it's a little red, swollen, and it's not itchy? No. Does it hurt? No. Does it hurt right here? Yes. Okay. And so it is spread down. And then let me see your good hand. Squeeze my fingers as hard as you can. Okay, good. And then tell me, do you feel the same when I'm touching? No. Which one feels different? This one. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like she's got an infection here. Um, so we'll need to give you some antibiotics for that, okay? I'm going to wash my hands real quick, and then we'll take a... a Press to look at you. 
Okay, so we'll take a look at your eyes. Have you been having problems with seeing anything? Like, do things look weird from far away to you? Yeah. Yeah? Um, what about when you're reading? Does it look normal? Yeah. Okay. So just because of that, we'll have her go to the ophthalmologist just okay. to get a better idea of what's going on inside of her eye. Okay. Um, and then, Mom, can you please dim the lights for me? Okay, and I'm gonna take a look at my nose. I'm gonna check your eye. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, Mom, you can go ahead and turn it back on. Um, now we're gonna check your ears. I'm gonna see if you have anything in there. Mom, have you noticed any problems with her hearing at all? No. Okay. Perfect, clean ears. All right, and then stick out your tongue and say, ah. Ah. Okay, good. And your nose is nice and clean. Good. I'm just going to feel your neck. My hands might be a little bit cold. Any discomfort or does it, is it hurt at all? No. Okay. I'll take it. I'm going to take a quick listen to your lungs, so I'm going to go like this. Deep breath. Again. Again. Okay. And one last time. Perfect. I'm going to listen to your heart so you can just breathe normally. Sounds good. Mom, has she ever complained of any having any trouble breathing or no. any like heart problems, no. like beating too fast? No. Okay. Um, so now we're going to take a quick listen to your belly. So try to lay um, as far back as you can. Any problems with constipation or diarrhea? No. No? No. Okay. A little cold. Sounds like you're hungry. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna press down. Tell me if it hurts, okay? Perfect. Um, so her abdomen feels soft, which is good and normal. And then um, we need to check her private area. We need to do this at least once a year to make sure that there's no like adhesions or any infection that's going on down there. Okay. So we need to check down there, Anna. Okay. Oh, that's um, gross. We'll have mom protect us. To make sure nobody else comes in the room while we're doing it, okay? All right, let's take these ones down. Okay. All right, everything looks good. Good job. Okay, so just remember, um, Mom and Anna, just make sure to wipe from front to back just to prevent any kind of urinary tract infections. Okay. And just make sure you drink lots of water, but everything looks good. Okay. Um, and then let's have you sit up, and I will check your back. Um, to see if you have some scoliosis because you have family history of it. Um, so go ahead and line your toes together like that. And then try to touch your toes. Perfect. Whoa. Mom, come take a look. Do you see this little curve uh -huh. that she has right there? Um, so it looks like she has a little bit of scoliosis. Oh wow, is it that really bad? Well, you can you can stand up straight. Um, we'll have her go and take an x-ray of her back, so it'll just be like pictures of your back, and you'll get to see your bones um, to see how curved it is. Okay. Um, depending on how curved it is will depend on the management of it. Sometimes we just need to watch it. A lot of kids have it and don't know that they have it, um, but that's another reason why it's important for her to come every year to okay. get it checked okay um so there's a couple things we're gonna do for anna so let me see so she has like i said a skin infection on her arm it's called cellulitis i'm going to give her a prescription for antibiotics she's going to take it for 10 days um, side effects can include nausea and vomiting 
Um, you can give her ibuprofen for pain, or if she has a fever, you can give her ibuprofen as well. Um, try to keep her arm elevated. Um, so during the day, try to keep it up when she's sitting down or when she goes to sleep, try to prop it up. This decreases the swelling and the pain and the spread of the infection as well. Um, she can take normal showers, pat the area dry, don't be so aggressive with it. Um, try not to share towels and don't go swimming okay. until it's completely healed, okay? Um, warning signs that you need to come back sooner. Um, really, really red, spreading, now it's affecting the other finger. She's complaining of more pain or tingling or dash. Now if her arm is weak or something like okay. that, you need to bring her back, okay? okay. Um, and then, like I said, she's considered overweight for her age. Um, so we'll need to check some blood work to make sure it's not like her thyroid or anything like that that's causing her um, to gain weight. Um, and then go ahead and just make sure that she eats three meals a day. Okay. Um, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner, she can snack in between. Just increase more fruits and more veggies and try to be more active, like play more soccer with your cousins or try playing with your mom. Um, and then also you can try to cook a little bit more often at home. Okay. Um, that way you know what goes into the food instead of getting fast food. Um, in regards to her scoliosis, like I said, we will get that x-ray to see okay. what's going on, how much curved it is or not. That will make me either refer her to an orthopedic doctor um, or just keep an eye on it. Um, and then for her vision, like I said, we'll refer her to the ophthalmologist so we can check her eyes. Okay. Try not to sit in front of the TV a lot or use the iPad for too long, so limit it for like maybe two hours a day okay. at a time. Um, try to be more outdoors and do other activities other than that. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. So I'll just have you uh, ladies make an appointment at the front for three days so okay. we can go over the lab results and to see and make sure that's getting better and not worse. And then here are the lab slip for the x-ray. Okay, thank you. And then um, one for the lab. Okay, thank you. Do you ladies have any questions? No. No? Okay, you guys have a good day. All right, thank you. I hope you, you get better. Bye. Bye, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.